if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 5 Terror Hotel Survival Difficulty Class 2 Unsafe Secure Low Entity Count Level 5 is the sixth level of the back rooms. This level appears to be an infinite hotel. Description Level 5 is an infinite hotel complex with many rooms and halls. The level itself seems to have been constructed in the 1930s, with furniture dating back to 1920. There are three main areas in level 5 that are fully accessible. Footnote 1 This will be explained further in this entry. The surroundings of level 5 are littered with decorations and furniture from the early 20th century the main hall being the most object-populated area of Level 5. The level is mostly clean with little dust and dirt lingering on surfaces. It seems to clean itself, as unclean spots seem to disappear only a few minutes after. The oddly pristine floors and well-cared areas make Level 5 utterly unsettling compared to the other levels close by. Smooth jazz plays quietly throughout the halls, via vintage turntables and vintage speakers hooked up to a sound system throughout the level. The choice and switching of music seems to be random and out of place. It is unknown how this feat is completed. Level 5 is fairly mysterious and infamous for its strange noises that can be heard, such as distant party chatter that can be heard on the other side of walls. People have reported that there is an unseen presence watching them around every corner, Reports had mentioned whispering noises incoherently behind them, something tapping their shoulder when they're alone, and the supposed watching eyes from the aged paintings scattered about. Throughout Level 3 is three main areas that are listed below. The Main Hall This area is the main section of Level 5 and is the most common area to discover. The walls are covered in mahogany red and gold ornate wallpaper. Wanderers have even reported that the wallpaper have faces and can stare at you. However, the authenticity of these reports are questionable. The floors can come in many variations, such as dark walnut wood, white marble, and exotic red and gold carpets. The halls themselves are very furnished in the previously mentioned decorations, including bookshelves, cabinets, antique sofas, and much more. The walls of the main hall have antique candle holders scattered across the halls, some of which are actually electric lamps and not wax candles, which can produce a constant buzz similar to level zero. Most rooms in this area are empty, but some have full furnished living quarters that are capable of sustaining life. Doors in this area are labeled with gold placards with a room number which seem to be random. Many of these doors are locked, but some have mysteriously unlocked over time. Some can even open and close randomly. This area of level 5 also holds many elevator shafts, which can range from modern elevators to antique elevators with a copper cage. Inside the elevator contraptions are many buttons that can lead to floors 1 to 382. Accessing floors 1 to 12 will lead to another part of level 5 on the same floor, and not another floor. 13 or higher will either result in death or disappearance. It is unknown what is above floor 12. The Beverly Room, also known as the Eternal Ballroom, seems to be the main hub area in level 5. The room itself is very spacious, with many doors on all sides. The amount seems to be random, and one wanderer reported hundreds of doors on the walls, floor, and ceiling. 
The room only contains a small fanciful table, in the center, illuminated by a large chandelier. The contents of the table include many drinks, and an unfinished game of mahjong. Attempts at finishing the game were unsuccessful, as most have been affected by this object, feeling forced to stay away from it. The doors of this area will either lead to the main hall, or the boiler room, with the main hall being the most common occurrence. Entrances to this room will be labeled, with a small silver placard, reading, The Beverly Room. The Boiler Room. This area of level 5 is fairly large, and is cluttered due to the mass amount of old machinery placed within. This area contains large vintage machinery as mentioned before, and a large industrial piping littering the walls, all intertwined, which causes the layout to be very claustrophobic. Exhaust valves line the pipes on the walls, as almond water seems to flow through the pipes. The pressure of the water seemed to cause the pipes to leak. The temperature of this area is fairly hot, and most surfaces are dry. Steam fills the air as the machines run continuously. Most rooms are filled with boilers. Some have furnaces. The noises heard here are mostly loud machinery, or almond water dripping from the pipes. Wanderers report faint whispering, emitting from the large, smoking furnaces. Investigations are ongoing. Maintenance elevators are present, but it is not advised to use them. Reports of a fourth area have been found, and the area was named the Lobby Room. No one knows how to enter, as wanderers that have experienced this anomaly claim that you're not supposed to know. This sentence most likely means that you are unable to remember how to enter this area. These witnesses have lost all memory of this room in the span of a few weeks. In fact, many of us may have already entered this room. Investigations of this area by the MEG are ongoing. Normal entities are fairly scarce in level 5. However, there is a large population of death moths that have created nests all around this level. This level is considered to be one of the many central hives of these entities. Most fly out of dark rooms, swarming the halls. Level 5 contains a mixture of both male and female death moths, which the females are known to be dangerous. Luckily, the females seem to stay in their nests and do not leave normally. However, they are more common in level 5. The only other entities that are known to appear in level 5 are hounds. Woodlands, Skin Stealers, Watchers, Weatherzer, Growlers, and Death Rats. There were reports of Entity 89, otherwise known as Ants, as well as a report of a Wrangler in the Boiler Room. Entity 26, also known as Samantha, can also occasionally be found wandering level 5 in the main hall. If you plan to approach Samantha, be sure to bring some high-quality meat. But enough of all that chatter. I'm sure you're bored out of your mind already. Why don't you come to my office? I'd like to have a chat with you. No need to go further here. Bases, Outposts, and Communities MEG Outpost, Housekeeping This outpost is made to protect other groups from entities, and to study level 5 helps to guide wanderers looking to move through the boiler room, usually assists groups like Homely Hotel with their service. Homely Hotel. This group has a running hotel service in level 5. This group is set in the main hall, with custom signs leading to their area. This group is opened to new wanderers to fill in their applications to stay. They have an active food and room service to keep the wanderers safe. This is their first base, with their second being in level 11. The Originals The Originals are a colony of people set up in one of the Beverly Rooms. The group is comprised of people that had entered the back rooms from the span of 1300 and 1940. They will only accept new members if they are from the previously mentioned time period. Mostly keep to themselves, but will trade on occasion although they tend to stay away from large factions. There are around 31 members, and some noteworthy members are fairly historical, such as the likes of 
Amelia Earhart, Dorothy Arnold, John Jacob Astor IV, Captain Edward Smith, and many more. The Lost Hall Society. This group was created by an unknown entity species. The population is unknown, located in a wing of the level filled with libraries. It was rumored that they spend most of their time collecting, studying, and debating over historical and geographical information, and had a reputation for their vast collection of tomes, maps, and other media containing a wealth of knowledge. High value to any wanderer is in need of information on just about anything, as their work is still here to this day. Entrances and Exits Entrances To enter, find an old stairway in level 4. Access an elevator in level 3. Finding a damaged door in level 19 will lead you to level 5. Survive the eroded state in level 126 to enter level 5. Some of the unlocked doors in level 54 can lead to this level. Houses in level 10 may lead to level 5. A door in the entrance hall in level 82 can rarely lead to level 5. Some of the doors in level 92 will lead to level 5. The same can be done if you do not leave an apartment in event 3. Certain doors in level 4.2 can lead to level 5. Exits To exit, turn around and go back up the stairs to re-enter level 4. Get back on the elevator to re-enter level 3. Travel deep into the boiler room to get to level 6. Although this is not advised due to the extreme heat. Finding an open door on the wall, floor, or ceiling that has a forest scenery will lead to level 63. Enter a metal door found in the main hall to enter level 98. If flickering lights occur in unison, then a wooden door will appear. Open it to transport yourself to level 27. Playing an arcade cabinet in the boiler room will lead you to level 40. Enter an airlock-like door within level 5 via the boiler room to enter level 78. A large wooden gate, rarely found in the Beverly room, can lead to level 84.